play. True. So. Plus, it's uh, getting kind of later, too, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's like... Matt, I don't care about that. Oh, fair enough. One, you don't care about our feelings. <laughs> you don't care about our schedules. Oh, come on. Everyone like... Well, I'd hope everyone likes sleep. Sleep is pretty good. So, speaking of sleep, we're going to take it to the cozy little town of the town from Animal Crossing. Name it whatever you want. So I've definitely heard that this is a stage that you don't really want Fire Emblem to take you to. Uh, it's just like, it's a small stage. They're all relatively fast characters that can control the stage. And like, the platform is just like, I'm gonna swing on that platform. <laughs> so I don't yes. know what you're gonna do about it. I'm pretty sure it's nothing. So I'm gonna just do me, all right? Yeah, and yeah. Fire Emblem, like Lucina, for example, if she falls down, like drops through the platform and goes for an up air or a bear, yeah. that still covers a lot of space. It's not like she's giving anything up by dropping through a platform. She's just playing the same game that she always is, and she can shark very well. Yeah. On the flip side, I, I don't think that this is necessarily a bad Rob stage. Rob. Uh, is a character that has a great sense of stage control because of the gyro and just like what he, what he can do, stuff like that. That like he had the gyro on the edge and it was just like, all right, you have to come up and try and do like you have to come up with an aerial because you need to like grab the item with that aerial. So I'm gonna shield it and then kill you. Yes, and that's another thing too that we were talking about before. Even if. Uh, you want a smaller stage so that the opponent doesn't have more space to run away when they zone yeah. out. That also means that you have less space to run away. Yep. You have more of a time that's spent dealing with projectiles and zoning out. Yeah, so it kind of boils down to like who who gets better from that between these two. Yes, who benefits more, who can get in or get away more I, effectively. I don't even remember how Dill lost his first time. Uh I think he got edge guarded. This anyway, really it's even stock two. <laughs> Both of them just barely, well, they were close to Ooh. 69, but no longer. They threatened the meme percent, but it never came. Okay, that was um, good. Yeah, that falling up air into up air again, that, I really like that. Yeah, Falling up air is super good. I would... Uh, yeah. I would have figured that there's like a part of the hitbox that all oh, you don't want to hit, but it's all just a uh, strong hit into a bear or fair. Yeah, it's because like she starts to swing like at like the the middle of her body, so you can like fall within it and it works out. Yes. Uh, it, it is it is the improv area. I like Dill's like going for those reads to like punish the dolphin slash, but like I just don't know how. <laughs> Yo. What else could he have been looking for at that point, too? Because he knew he had the gyro. Whoa! Well, he, he had already extinguished his, his air dodge. He used oh. it to try and survive, even though I'm pretty sure air dodges don't help you survive. Uh, so he couldn't dodge it, yes. and so he'd have to catch it. But I think he, he was still in the air dodge lag, actually. He could have been, because um, if he was that far off, it would have yeah. been a directional air dodge towards the stage. Um, Dancing Blade is a good move. Oh, it's fantastic. Yes, it's a fan. Yo, I actually got hit with this really sick stuff when I was playing E yesterday. He, or not yesterday, uh, earlier today. Um, what he would do is he would jump up if I was shielding, just barely cross me up with the first hit of uh, the Rekka, and then do a back air, which I thought was pretty sweet. The only thing that got me about it, he only hit me with it like twice, was that I can't imagine there's ever a, salute or a scenario where that would be perfectly spaced. Like, you'd have to sort of want to surprise your opponent by doing that. I really like how deep he is going off stage to, like, make Rob uncomfortable, because she definitely has the buttons to do so. Yes, absolutely. Bill's not getting much ground time, so he's not getting a lot of fuel back. Okay, he probably got some back there. And um, fuel doesn't come back when you're on the ledge either. Yeah. No. no. You have to firmly place your platform on the ground. Firmly stand yourself up on the ground. You are meant to be hard to turn around. That back air. A lot of Rob's animations are just so... Oh, oh shoot, really? that shield pose. Unfortunate. Yes. Uh, was that a little bit of bias coming out from the Devon 3000? Yeah. How dare for, you? Unfortunate for Rob. Unfortunate for Dill. Unfortunate for my brother. Yes. And Great for can, E. Can you guys believe the bias coming out? No. <laughs> but, see... Honestly, it was really hard to say that there's anything else Dill could have done there. He was, I mean, he's been keeping people on the ledge all day. Angle his shield herder. Oh, yeah, that's, well, <laughs> I mean, that's true, but really, 
Hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah, Would no, Rob I, ever... I mean, I feel like we're still in a point of the game where not, there isn't a lot of shield angling, especially now. Like, mm -hmm. we have mechanics to make it easier. So it's just yes. like, while, yes, it's like saying that in hindsight, it, it's like there's a point to it where it's like, yeah, we really should be doing it more. Yes, it is. Honestly, you still see... I've seen... I can't remember who, honestly, but I've seen it multiple times today where people are shield angling at important points. But... Then again, you could say that like if you're reading it to that point where you could angle your shield, you might as well go for a parry. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the move. Then you know, I don't like that nair, like yeah. you're probably better off just doing shield angles. Well, that's the thing too, is that I feel like it's super easy to make parries this zero something. Like, oh well, if you know the opponent's gonna do this, why don't you parry? But, well, yeah. yeah, if you know. Yeah, <laughs> if you like, who knows? Like, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yes. still counterpicking Town and City. Uh, he had gotten rid of PS2 and Kalos. Uh, pretty understandable uh, stages to get rid of versus Rob. Uh, so Town, uh, pretty big stage. It's actually enormous. Yes. Um, and then the blast zones uh, reversed from Smash 4. So now the ceiling is very high, and yep. the side blast zones are the smallest in the game. Uh, he is dead. What happened? I'm not really sure what happened. I'm going to look at the that clip real yeah, quick. I think... So he hit, went off. Uh, oh, he oh, air dodged. Yeah, okay. I see. All right. So not the kind of way you want to start. See, you see Mystery um, tilting his shield right there, but that was in a more obvious scenario when, oh, Rob is right above me. Shield tilting here would probably yeah. be, you know. I mean, what can I lose out on? He's not going to empty jump down tilt me. It's not a bad punch dash. I don't know. I feel like right now, uh, Dill still has some figuring out to do to Ooh. in this matchup versus this, versus E. It's yeah. a player matchup. It's a character matchup. I can believe it. I mean, Dill has been doing a lot of work since he picked up Rob again, but he's by no means like impervious to uh, bad matchups or uh, even player skill. Like yeah. See, he went for the chase there. That was interesting. You saw that he went for the air dodge, but he still faded away and came back in a way that punished oh. the hit. That's not the way you want Try to, to air end dodge to the ledge. Couldn't make it. Ouch. Yikes.